Hi, I'm Rob with the Aquaponic Source. We're here at Gunny Gal in Gunnison, Colorado. Uh, we just finished setting up our new 30 by 80 foot flourish farm aquaponic system. Uh, we're here in a uh, series greenhouse. It's a 30 foot by 80 foot, hence the name. Um, and it's a very cool system paired with an awesome greenhouse. And I just wanted to walk you through uh, the, the system and show you some of the uh, equipment we've put in and uh, you know the features of this farm. Um, so as I mentioned, we're here in Gunnison, Colorado. It's a very cold area. Um, and so that's why the client opted to go with this series greenhouse. Very efficient in the winter. It's going to use a fraction of the utilities to keep it warm and maintained uh, throughout the year compared to a traditional greenhouse. Um, this farm here is going to be producing mostly leafy greens and tilapia. And so we designed this farm to hit um, pretty high production numbers for the size of the space that we're in. So on the fish side, we're targeting about a thousand pounds of tilapia and uh, harvested annually. And then on the plant side, we're looking at about 800 to 900 heads of lettuce per week. Um, so pretty good amount of production here. Um, so now if we start walking through here, uh, you see we have three 500 gallon fish tanks. Um, so this is where the tilapia will be. You can see we have a window in there so you can actually get a good view of your fish, inspect their health and behavior. If you follow me down here, um, we have uh, all of our other equipment to keep our fish happy and healthy. So uh, right here is our uh, Polygeyser 6000B filter. So this is handling all of our solids filtration and our biological filtration. And the really nice thing about this filter in a commercial farm like this is its footprint. You know, this is how as much space as it takes up, whereas more traditional um, or older school um, aquaponic filtration systems might take up several tanks worth of space. This is really efficient. Think of it, when you're in a greenhouse, your space is your money. Uh, the more space you can devote to plant and fish production, the uh, easier it's gonna be to hit your bottom line. Um, coming over here, we have our dual sump setup. So we have a fish sump and a plant sump. And so what that allows us to do is to operate the system either coupled or decoupled. So we can run our aquaculture system as a standalone recirculating aquaculture system. We don't need the plants for filtration because our filter handles everything. And then we can also run our plant side as a recirculating hydroponic system. Um, and so that's especially useful during startup, let's say when your fish aren't big enough to provide all those nutrients your plants need, you can use a fish safe hydroponic nutrient to start up uh, your plants. What you just heard here, that was the backwash cycle of our beach filter. So this beach filter is really cool because it's powered by air. There's no moving parts in it. Um, and that just periodically happens uh, to clean um, you know, fish solids out of the filter. So getting back to the sumps, when our fish are big enough, uh, we can couple the system and there's one big fully recirculating aquaponic system. Um, you know, monitoring equipment for pH, temperature, conductivity. Uh, and then over here, we have our um, aerobic mineralization system. And so this is a really cool setup where we're actually gonna take our sludge from the filter and that sludge gets dumped into this mineralization system where it's aerated constantly. Periodically, we'll shut off the air and uh, we'll skim off clean water from this tank. And what we're doing is we're raising heterotrophic bacteria in this tank that breaks down those fish solids even more and makes additional nutrients bioavailable for our plants. And then it gets put back into our plant system. Um, nothing ever goes down the drain in this setup, which is really cool. Um, so let's take a look at some of the plant systems. Um, down here, this is our Groasis four-tier nursery microgreen system. Um, so this is where all the plants will get their starts. Um, and we have added production in this beyond what's required for the main grow out. So uh, a lot of extra space for microgreens as well, which is um, part of the business plan in this farm. Uh, really great setup. It's uh, fully automated. And this specific one is actually auto-fed off of the aquaponic system. It will automatically top itself out over time. Um, right here, this is our um, Groasis elevated uh, transplanting trough, so two feet wide, 20 feet long. And we use these uh, two foot by two foot lattice rafts. And basically, after the uh, seedlings get their start, about two weeks later, they come into our transplanting trough. And we, uh, we move them out into these raft boards. 
So we take these very little plants and we grow them out a bit bigger. Um, and what that does is it allows us to really consolidate our production. We get a ton of plants in here and we're not wasting room on our main grow out uh, raft board. So it's a way to speed up production once the plants get to our main production system. Uh, so on top of here, we do have an artificial lighting system. These are uh, infinity uh, LED lights. Um, and even though we are in a greenhouse, we're in Colorado, in the winter time it can get cloudy, daylight so short, and we want to make sure that we're hitting um, a good production level year round. So that's why we're using these lights, just to give an added boost to our plants. Um, and these lights won't be running all the time. Really, it's to extend our daylight hours. So they might turn on for a few hours in the early morning until the sun comes up, and then a few hours in the evening after the sun goes down. Again, just to boost our production. Um, so that's a great little setup there um, that we use in all of our farms to uh, speed up our production cycles. Um, and then the main setup over here, these are our 8 foot wide by 68 foot Groasis elevated deep water culture systems. Uh, and so this is a modular system that we build. We can build them you know, in any length and in any width uh, between 2 and 8 feet. Um, and this is, you know, th this is the, the money maker of the system. This is where all of the production is going to happen. Uh, so plants will come out of our transplanting trough there. They're going to be planted at the end, right there, and harvested from the far end. And so basically it turns into a big conveyor belt system where new plants are constantly coming in on the left, harvested from the right, and they work their way down. Uh, really great system here. Everything is at waist height. I believe this one's sitting right at 32 inches. So there's no bending over when uh, working on your plants. It's really comfortable to work on. You can easily just pick up your board and go and harvest it. Nice and simple. Um, so um, that's our Groasis Elevated system. Uh, again, this is where most of the, the leafy greens and herbs in the farm are going to be grown. Um, and then just for some fun, we also added in um, an autopot bucket system that you can see over here. Um, so, well, again, most of the production in the farm is going to be based around leafy greens. Um, the client did want some added space for fruiting crop production. So that's what we're doing here. Um, we have uh, autopot buckets that are going to uh, fill up out of our aquaponic system water. Um, and so basically you'll be putting uh, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, any longer term crops in these buckets. Um, the uh, reservoir right here is going to be topped off again from our aquaponic system, but it's a decoupled loop. So we start out with a great base nutrient from our aquaponic system, but from there we can supplement with additional nutrients that fruiting crops might require, like potassium and phosphorus or other things to make our plants happy. Um, from there, the water is fed out to these buckets. Um, there's no pumps, it's all gravity fed with some pretty nifty uh, float valve systems. And this is where the uh, fruiting crops will grow. Uh, above it, these are uh, Apex LED lights, uh, 300 watts each. And again, uh, it's just to boost our production levels uh, in the farm, um, you know, especially in those winter months. Uh, and so these lights, uh, are on adjustable risers, so they can go up and down depending on the height of the plants that you're growing. So again, very cool system, um, nice to set up to give your farm a little bit more variety. Uh, and the last thing I'll touch on is, while they're not installed right here, you can see we have these hangers up in the air. There will be a grow lighting system um, that we're about to install over the uh, plant trough throughout. Um, and those are boost LED lights, uh, I believe about 130 watts each. Um, and again, that's just to maintain constant production levels year-round because as a farm, you know, your uh, best chance of success is if you can maintain constant production throughout the year and you don't have dips in the winter. So sometimes it makes sense to invest in those LED lights to, uh, you know, to again, smooth out production cycles of your farm. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a uh, gunny gal in Gunnison, Colorado. Um, you know, if you're ever in the area, make sure you uh, take a look at some of the produce and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.